in today's episode we are going to start off the tourist season or to be more specific the preparation of the tourist season which will release in a couple of days and for that we are going to start a new game um, with custom settings so the last season we played to episode 50 i guess um, that was more or less an experimentation series where I just tried to get the game straight and figure out what uh, I need to do. Um, and this time I would like to play with some custom settings based on um, yeah what I've learned. If you don't want to see the setup or explain or uh, want me see how, um, explaining why I chose certain. Um, um, certain settings uh, you can skip ahead to the gameplay um, the, the timestamp stamp will be in the video player okay so to the game settings I would like to play with the seat 1800 because well it's no 1800 we are playing with large um, world sizes we play with large islands um, island difficulty is normal fertility is medium as well as mineral deposits so um, in the last season I think we played on plenty with the easiest game settings and that meant that each island had way 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 too many um, deposits and fertility so we could um, yeah we had too many things on, on one island and I would like to have more islands um, with yeah, more specialties um, more or less map type is archipelago Apilek, what uh, the thing with the islands um, no idea how to how, how to pronounce that. So in terms of characters, I only want to have Venti Jorgensen as our opponent, um, and that's because I don't want to actually fight with the AI or compete with them. I just want to have someone around that I can trade with that gives us some quests and well populates the world without um, interfering too much with our plans. So we'll play with Venti. Um, I've never played with her before. Um, and we will not have any more AI characters. Um, factions, I would like to have um, all of the AI traders, and I want la I want to have an Halo around. I don't like Jean in the New World. Um, dealing with one pirate is stressful enough, and I would like to have one pirate just to make the early game a bit more interesting and also to have a trading partner for all the alcohol that we are going to produce. Um, I would like to spend more time trading with people. Um, I think because we neglected that in the last season a lot. We, there's much more we can do with this. Um, income will also go down to medium. This will force us to pay more attention to the um, yeah to the needs of our people. In the last season um, we neglected I think five or even six items in the new and the old world and still had a positive income. It took a long time for the income to get negative and um, then things started to spiral out of control and I don't want that. So with a medium income we have to be more careful on, on what we build and how much we build and um, this should overall yeah, make the, the progress a little bit maybe it's even easier with a medium income than with a large one. Um, we will not play with construction cost refund, um, but I would like to have building relocation on because this season will have a focus on beauty building again, even more than the last time. The last season we tried it a little bit in some of the episodes, but this time I would like to have it on each step of the development. Um, things should look good and I will re be relocating buildings a lot. Um, all the rest, trading post, restock, city incident, quest frequency, all to medium. Uh, same with influence, so it's a little bit more um, restrict than in the, the, be in the um, previous season. But I don't want to play on hard. Um, it, it's still a beauty building series and not the try to beat the game in the most difficult way possible. Also, this will not be a tutorial on how to play on, on medium or, or easy. This is just personal preference. Uh, starting conditions, we will have a flagship, we will have a standard harbor, um, a large capital, and I want the map to be revealed. I didn't know that this was even a thing, um, but don't spend... So if you don't need to spend time um, exploring the map, 
Um, well, we can focus more on building. So basically, I tried to get rid of all the annoying parts that prevented us from doing what we would like to do. Like, we need to explore, we need to fight the AI and so on. All of this is removed. We can just try to build the most beautiful, um, well, island, empire thingy um, in preparation for the tourist season. So, let's get it on. Um, and also, I could have, I thought about removing the AI opponents completely. So we just have free, oh, everything for free. But I think that would be a little bit too boring without anyone around. So, Flagship um, ready for orders. I thought we are going to have one AI around. So let's see, what do we have on our starting island? Um, we have potato fertility, which is great. Grain and also grapes. Wow, this is nice. Even pre already preparing for investors. So um, we have some oil, um, iron. We have one lake. Lake is nice. The island goes over to this side, which is great. And then over here, wow, there's lots of lakes. Over here we have the clay. Uh, there should be a third clay somewhere. Where's the third clay? Oh, it's over here. Nice. So we will we will use this one first. There's coal over here. Hopefully, yeah, this is an iron. Okay, so the starting location looks pretty, pretty good, to be honest. Um, let's start off by establishing... Uh, what is it called? Um, tum tim tumber? Timber? Yeah, <laughs> timber. Uh, yeah, let's try to get the timber production going. I would like to have one road going from one shore to the other so this is the somewhat the outline of the city where I would like to go um, and we will have the across the river right here I really like this small island no idea what we are going to build here um, if you have any ideas let me know in the comments below what we should keep this island for it looks pretty good and there's oil over here so where are we going to have I think this is a pretty good location right here. Now let's add the lumberjack huts near the near the miles. So over here. And there I think three is fine. Can then just add road to here. And also let's go to blueprint mode. We need one warehouse. This in blueprint mode. Actually, blueprint is something for a little bit later. And then we are going to start with the city somewhere around. You here. reach a new milestone. So let's add this first. Yeah, the marketplace. Um, speaking of the marketplace, yeah, I think this is a pretty good location. Start right here, and we are, yeah, we are still some purpose short. Let's go in this general direction, and then over here, we are going to start by placing some of the industry. So in the last season, I think uh, we already started with this 10 by 10 grid layout and I really, really enjoyed it. But what we did not do was um, integrate some of the, um, of the production chains into the um, housing area. So we tried to add a 10 by 10 grid layout We're for the industry as well. So we had a 10 by 10 grid for the people and we had a 10 by 10 grid for the industry. But what we did not do, or at least not uh, on a large scale, was integrating the industry into the residential areas. And I think that looks pretty, pretty good. So um, I really hope I c we can, um, yeah, we can make this look Good. So let's see. We will add this right here, and then we need this third one right here. And, and here we go. We have timber. So next thing is fish. Fish should be pretty straightforward, I guess. Just add one. 
safe zone. Okay, so we have provided fish. Now let's head over to the Um We will add some additional houses right here. And I think um, we will reserve this space for the for the pub. decoration which is not unlocked yet. Oh, there's, uh, we already have the agriculture ornaments unlocked. So, um, since we have sawmills over here, the um, lock piles make sense right here. Also, the flatbed point marks You reach a new milestone. Okay, so we have 50 people already, so we don't need more um, more houses at the moment. I think growing slow is a, uh, is the way to go for the moment. Um, this was also something we did not, or that that I did not do um, the way I I wish I had. So I think we grew a little bit too um, too fast. This right here, and then uh, let's move this one by one. So we need one more house for the 10 by 10 grid, and this house will be potato farm. And we will then have one farm residence, and then the schnapps distillery instead of the free tile. So all of this is integrated like that. This will get road all the way to here, and this will get road all the way to here. Like we have roads. We then have a road connection just so we can bring the potatoes all the way to the Schnapps Distillery. Uh, I'm not sure. Wait, if we do the road like that. Yeah, this house does not have connection, so we need to add the road like this, which means we don't need those two. Yeah, now it has 100% coverage. Okay, so that also means we don't need this road, and all of this free space can now be the potato field. Just know where the timber tank grid should be. This to here. Yeah, that's fine. So let's upgrade all of those. Now we have schnapps. We will now build the pub in the center for some more happiness. Heartless. Okay, the pub is here, and as soon as schnapps is coming in. This should be fine. So now the final step would be um, to add grid locus. So let's add a more grid like here. Okay, so let's see. We can again integrate the sheep farm. Oops, that was wrong. Like that. And then there will be housing space. Road 
Mech Ward and Deemer Clothes. We'll go right here. With houses being. I think the warehouse should go somewhere around here. Let's plan this out. We can then have some free room. We should be able to start with the decoration at apple trees. Shrubbery right here. But oh, we are still in blue mode. Oops. More's the merrier. Okay, so in terms of the uh, pub, what can we add to the pub that makes sense? Um, well, obviously, a signpost that points to the pub on both sides. Um, maybe a wooden gate right here. Um, right in that case, the signposts don't make much sense. enough people um, can upgrade our house, I think. Lovely! Yeah, now um, let's upgrade. Well, let's already add a decoration in here. Um, trees in this general area. A well. Um, let's add a flat wagon near the This, this really only fits if we are, if it looks more like a, yeah, like a city and not like, well, yeah, farmer, village, town thing. Um, but I like the integration of those, of those buildings uh, inside the city. That looks pretty, pretty good. 
Okay, so how are the needs looking? Um, we have everything fulfilled, so I guess we are just waiting um, for everything uh, to reach its max population. Let's see, in terms of building upgrades, it's still not reached. Now we are in the building center. Perfect. So um, I think I would like to develop the houses next uh, to the You reach a new milestone. Uh, now we have 50, which should be more or less enough. Two brick factories, we need 50. Honest work, more. that's all we ask. Yes, and that's exactly what you will get. 50 additional workers, which means you can uh, add the brick works to here. Maybe we will. Yeah, by not hurrying or by by trying to go um, slower, um, I actually meant in terms of build, uh, how fast we are going to build new buildings, and not in terms of game speed. So I think um, since we are trying to build less buildings or not to build them as frequently, we can make better use of the. Uh, Increased game speed. So instead of um, we've run out of cabins, trying to to play on regular all the time and building buildings as fast as we can, um, we should try to build a little bit slower what brings you and here, instead Master? Um, increase the game speed from time to time. Um, I also think maybe another warehouse makes sense depending on the amount of industry we will add back here. And oh, I completely forgot. Okay, so now in terms of workers, they need sausages. Um, where do we want to add sausage production? I think we already prepared another warehouse back here. So we will add this, this general area. Um, let's see, I think. Pig farm fits in like this perfectly. You can then add a couple of houses and a slaughterhouse, like so. And for you, we need to wait for bricks to come in. So, same procedure. Let's speed up the game. And let's also add a tree line right here. Like this. Okay, and right here we also need some decoration. Let's add the fence to this general area. Yeah. 
also done. out for each other here so if the sausage is fulfilled the next thing we need is bread and so let's already figure out where i would, where we would like to add those um, this area you right reach a new here. milestone oh they also want the church now okay so the church is a pretty big building um i would like to Let's connect this one right here. And I think the church fits in nicely right here. Do we want this to be a building? Or a, a residence building? Maybe the bigger. Look sharp, the governor's here. Let's if it's a it. lockout, we've a right to know the dispute. So let's add the grain farm right here. This looks, it looks good. So now we have the grain farm. Um, from the farm, but that is okay, I think. Yeah, building and the modules, flour mill, and then the Hold the machines! All right, everyone, bakery. back to it! So now we need some more farmers. Uh, those will all go up to 10, so this will be 40 additional farmers. This will be enough workers for now. So now we can wait for the church, which needs 25 bricks. That's okay. We um, can now decorate this. Don't have those ornaments yet, so let's stick. First of all, back to the blueprint. Yeah, and let's ju just stick a couple of trees for the moment. Okay, so... Breath of fresh air living here. Let's see, does this solve out itself, this shortage? You're tired at all. I think it should. Also, there aren't enough of us! Can, um, decrease productivity. It's all prepared. Yeah, this needs... Okay, one minute is a little bit less. To meet our patron seconds. is utterly humbling. If there is, it's important to be true to oneself. Now let's go to 40 percent. 54 seconds. That's perfect. Okay, the mill is running, and the amount of farmers should stabilize. Um, the next thing this, I think, should be... Uh, we can either start with a small harbor and add the sailing ship here, which costs 100 workers to operate. Um, making sails is 50 workers. Um, okay, I like... I think I like the idea of... Wait, what? Oh, there's one building. Again, I forgot. Broke connection. Sorry. I think I like the idea of having um, a sailmaker next. So we can. Add We're taking more every care. Of those farms integrated. 
of the grits. What's already Fancy gone. making a while the sun shines, master. Finding a lake for farmer's husband. Okay. Keen as a three leg goat. Wood ash trade union. Okay. Uh, number of modules. That's 15 of farms. That's somewhat nice, but I don't think we can utilize that. This would be an excellent spot for a base camp. Of you to save a secret garden just for me. You're welcome. Uh, let's get back to our a competitor base. raised a settlement. And also, yeah, this is something that's, that's a, actually a pretty good idea, by me, so let's also do that. Um, so, what we need next, I think, is hops. Uh, there's no hops right here, there's no hops right there. There's hops on this island. Um, this also has fur in mine. Okay, so this island it is. Let's bring our ship. Um, let's see, our island is currently over there. So what's the nearest shore? It should be on our way. It should be right here. Okay, and uh, population is looking good. We are making sails. Um, and we oh. We also need more workers to reach the 100. So let's actually increase or grow the city towards the harbor. Right here. And then we also fix those road connections. And just paste some right here. Um, we remove those that we need for um, buildings. Yeah, we are already short on on some items. It's not much. We just need more. Need more schnapps to. Um, This general area looks pretty good for that. So we can add the potato farm, same bread as before. Uh, we leave room for one more house right here. And all the rest will be potato fields. Not least. have access to the market, um, but I think we can fix this in a second if we have bricks enabled. Okay, so let's grow towards the harbor. I would like to have um, more worker houses in this general area. Okay, let's I just know you'll make a special oh, major partner nice like you when they write the board. what she actually has to sell. Um, where's her main harbor? That should be... Just finished cataloging the little... Oh, 
straight rows before I get that straight. Uh, no, not flower. I was wrong. I want bread. Unload right here. Uh, and I want to have just a little bit. Let's say maybe five. And um, okay, we will not add the flagship yet because we need to count. Alright, so now we can add the flagship for the moment. We'll add a spooner to this second. Okay, but going back to main island, uh, we now have enough for the church. We and this. That will be our last task for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you.